everyone and welcome to our second Sunday slot for teens um, or for anyone else who's watching that's absolutely fine. Um, this week we're going to be looking a little at Palm Sunday. So we're doing things a little bit different this week. Um, we have the like discussion questions at the beginning of the video this time. So get ready to have a little think and pause the video after each question. So we're just gonna get stuck in right away like we did last time. Uh, the first question that we have for you is, what was the biggest crowd in which you have ever found yourself? So what was the biggest crowd in which you have ever found yourself? Uh, that might be a music festival or a concert or it potentially might be in a queue, who knows? Uh, but maybe just pause the video for a second and have a, have a little think about that. So I'm going to assume that you've paused the video and we'll move on to our next question. Uh, and our question number two is, when might you feel as if you are going in the opposite direction to the crowd? When might you feel as if you're going in the opposite direction to the crowd? Again, be a great time to pause the video and have a little think about that question. Our next one. Why is it easy to be swept up in the excitement of a large crowd? So why is it easy to be swept up in the excitement of a large crowd? And our final question before we move on. Is being in an excited crowd comfortable or uncomfortable? And that will obviously be different for each of us, uh, depending on how we feel about big crowds or big excited crowds. So is being in an excited crowd comfortable or uncomfortable? And then maybe just thinking a little bit about why. Why is that comfortable or uncomfortable for you? So uh, today we'll we will discuss uh, a large crowd who gathered um, and how people were swept away by everything that was happening uh, before their eyes. So the last week of Jesus's life is often called Holy Week uh, and it starts with Palm Sunday. So hopefully that's today and the one that you're watching. And, and many of the dramatic events that occurred this week demonstrated who Jesus was and well, what he believed in. Uh, this week was so important that the three of the gospel writers, so in the New Testament, so that's Matthew, Mark, Luke, well, and John, but we're looking at Matthew, Mark, and Luke. They devoted a full third of each gospel to reporting this week. So just this week, which is crazy. And even the gospel of John dedicates its entire last half to Holy Week. So, you know, it's a biggie. OK, so what was it all about? Like, what was Palm Sunday? So in a nutshell, it was Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey or a colt, however you'd like to see that. Uh, well, kind of, people started saying how amazing he was um, and they thought he was so amazing. They even like took off their cloaks and stripped down palm branches um, and laid them down before him because they were like, yeah, this guy is really amazing. Um, and then that got me thinking, is there anyone, is there anyone who I would put my coat on the floor for? Is there anyone who I think, yes, they are that exceptional and that amazing that I would take off my beautiful barber jacket or my duck down feather jacket or whatever kind of jacket I'm wearing and put it on the floor so they could walk all over it? So that's another little question for you. Is there anyone that you would proper shout out for? that you really believe in, that you would go mental for in a crowd, that you would just sing their praises and be like, yes, I'm so glad I'm here seeing them. So moving on, we're thinking about that crowd. And actually, remember, it's the same crowd that shouted and hailed him. And then they were then shouting, nail him to a cross, to be specific. So what happened to make the same crowd who shouted hail him on the on the Sunday, so on Palm Sunday today, to then shout nail him by Good Friday. So we have what, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days where something happened 
that the crowd just turned against him. So we have the good times of Jesus coming into Jerusalem and his friends and his followers and even strangers shouting Hosanna. So they're shouting, you know, how amazing he is. They're shouting that he's the saviour, that he's the Messiah. And then in a few days time, everything turns sour, everything changed. Does that remind you of any other situations or is that relatable to something that maybe you've experienced in your life? Um, that one minute it seems amazing and great and all of a sudden it can turn really sour. And it got me thinking a little bit about this uh, situation that we're in now. Uh, two weeks ago, a lot of us were jumping for joy and excitement for the Easter holidays to come and we probably had plans maybe to see our family. Obviously, um, young people were off school. You got to have free time to do kind of whatever you wanted. And now I wonder how many of us are actually looking forward to the Easter holidays because we probably can't go and see some of our family that we'd like to. Um, we can't do some of the things that we had planned and we've already had almost two weeks in lockdown. So it seems that some of our plans have kind of been changed and scuppered and that things that once seemed very exciting have now turned a bit sour. And I think how this story kind of relates to us is that things can change in an instant. Things can change really quickly. And as I'm sure Jesus knew from his experience in Holy Week, with the crowd screaming and shouting for him and his, their adoration, and then changing to screaming and shouting that they wanted him to die. But what makes our faith so amazing and so special is that we have those amazing Hosanna moments. We have those moments that we can shout out and scream and have amazing time and lay down our, our coats for people. But then we also have those moments that are actually really, really challenging and really hard because of our situations. So we've gone from these amazing Hosanna moments to these really challenging, questioning moments and faith isn't just about being in those big crowds. It's not just about being swept along. Faith is also about sometimes being on your own and sometimes questioning some of those things that you thought you were really stable on and really solid on. And it just made me think this Palm Sunday, as lots of us aren't together, um, and normally it would be quite a big celebration that we would be in a big crowd uh, and be waving our palm branches or, I don't know, just having a good time singing uh, hymns or singing songs that remind us how, how amazing Jesus was and all that anticipation. But we haven't, we haven't got that this year. But we can still have elements of that. We can still have have that same faith that things will work out and that things will be okay. We don't really know what's to come um, in these uncertain times, but we can still have faith and we can still have hope. And I know that's very easy to say, uh, but harder to do. And that's okay, we know it's hard and I think God knows that it's hard for us as well. Um, but there is a little activity that I want us to maybe do as we go along, as we go through these Sunday Sunday slots. Um, and I want us to do a hopes and dreams jar. I know it sounds really naff and it might be something like you think little kids do, but I think it's really going to help us. So you can choose like any jar or a cup or a mug or just like, I don't know, a drawer if you want, it, whatever. Um, so I just picked up a pen pot, which is quite dusty, but that's fine. It's not going to affect our hopes and dreams. Um, and whenever you feel like it, really, or we could do it every Sunday, um, we are going to write down um, a hope and a dream for the future. And that could be anything that could be for you specifically. You might want to um, you might want to go on holiday next year or you might want to achieve something or you might want to see someone more or it might be um, a bigger hope. 
um, for us as a country, for us as a world, for us to kind of come through this pandemic. It can be whatever you want it to be. Um, so I'm going to start us off. I'll pick, pick a piece of paper up um, and I'm going to write down um, a hope and a dream for the future um, to remind me that there there is always hope, even when situations turn sour, there there is always light at the end of the tunnel, I suppose. Um, and it will be the same with Holy Week, and I pray and hope that it will be the same in, in our situation at the moment. Um, so I'm going to write down that I, one of my hopes for the future is uh, that some people that I've lost contact with, um, that I will reconnect, I guess, rekindle that relationship um, and meet up with them for food, food or, or drinks or whatever, or coffee. Um, that is one of my hopes. And I've written one of my friend's names down here, so I know specifically who I'm talking about, um, but I obviously won't name them here. Um, so I've written that down, that I'm kind of going to going to re-put in my effort into that relationship because that is one of my hopes for the future hopes and dreams and I'm just gonna fold it up because it's for me to name between me and God and I'm gonna put it in my jar um, and I just encourage you to fill up that jar or mug or drawer whatever you've got as you go uh, through this experience um, to keep us looking forward and to keep reminding us that there is a journey that we are going on um, and that we're not doing it alone, we're doing it with God, um, regardless of how difficult it feels. Um, there's also another little activity that I'd like to encourage you to do um, in the link below. There should be, hopefully, there'll be like a little bio in the bottom. There'll be a link um, to making your own palm cross out of paper. Um, and I think all you need, really need is um, a long bit of paper, so maybe like a newspaper bit. Um, and it, it's very simple. It's quite straightforward. Um, you might need a little bit of time put aside, but uh, maybe if you're just looking for a little bit of reflection after this, uh, put on some music um, and watch that video and maybe just think about the things that we've spoken about today and weave in that beautiful palm cross. Uh, so stay safe and stay blessed and we hope to see you again next week. Bye everyone.